Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another video of the Hourlet 3. In this video I will be talking about the Hell to build for the Witch Doctor. It is a very good farming build if you have to search for those dead breads or other materials or if you want to find your items. It is fast, it is strong and if you want you just have to change two items and you can climb the leaderboard with it and you can go pretty high. So it is an amazing build. We already know this build, but I'm just gonna go through the whole build because we have some changes. So, for this build you need only 5 pieces of the Helltooth set and a Ring of Royal Grandeur, which you can get by doing bounty runs. If you found it, you wanna put it in the Kanai's Cube and this will give you the 6 set bonus of uh, the Helltooth set. After casting all of that, your monsters will get 3700% increased damage. Also, they will be affected by the second set bonus, and this will apply Necrosis. Uh, the enemies who got hit will take 1500% more damage, and you also get 60% damage reduction. And that will increase your toughness, of course, that's, that's also a little bit handy in this squashy build. Then you want to use Mask of Jerem, this item received some changes. They will now increase the damage of your pets, which is great because we will have like 4 pets. And all of those four pads will get increased damage. We also want to use the tall man's finger. It is pretty hard to get this ring, but just use the Ganais Cube or Cadela, and soon you'll have this ring. This ring will decrease the number of dogs you have, but instead of three dogs, you get one creepy, scary, big zombie dog, which is stronger than all the other three weaklings you had. For the other ring, we will be using the short man's finger. This ring also received a massive boost to your gargantuan pet damage. And not only that, first you had one big ugly gargantuan and instead of one, you'll have three gargantuans if you use this ring and you need it. For the belt I'm using string of ears because this build is a little bit squashy and you can just use this melee uh, damage reduction, it's great. Nemesis braces so you can spawn elites at a pylon which can be useful because this way you will find more dead brats because you will find those elite monsters faster. For the necklace you want to use Hellfire Necklace. In my opinion I would take one of the passes that I will be using in this video or you can use Spirit Vessel or Grave Injustice. Then we want to use the Manayuma's Mei. This um, set has two items, the weapon and the mojo. You want to use both of them, this will deal more damage when you turn from a chicken to normal, uh, but that's not the main point why we want to use this. We want to use this so we can turn into a chicken and we can walk through the map very fast and we can find those elite monsters uh, a lot faster. Which is great because we just want to run through the whole rift, we want to get those items and we just want to climb the leaderboard of course like everybody else wants. So for the Kanai's Cube, um, you want to use the Furnace, the well-known Furnace. My mouse isn't working, but who cares, there we go. This will increase the damage to Elites. Um, then we want to use Tasker and Theo. This will increase the attack speed of your pets. And as last, Ring of Royal Grandeur, so we can get the 6 set piece bonus, uh, which is pretty handy. For the legendary gems and forger, this will increase the damage of your pets, which is great. I'm also using esoteric alteration because it is a little bit squashy this build, but you will slay monsters really fast, so this gem will uh, give us some toughness. And as last bane of the trap, which I don't have on this inventory slot, whatever, it is on my demon hunter, so who cares. For the paragon points, that is pretty obvious, but if you don't know, Movement speed 25% in total, the rest goes into intelligence. For your offense, critical chance, critical damage, attack speed and cooldown reduction. For your defense, armor, life, all resist, life regen. And for your utility, area damage, life per hit and gold find, whatever. For the skills, we want to use a wall of death consuming with spirits. Um, my mouse isn't working. Why is my mouse never working? There we go. Come on, mouse. 
So all of that consuming with spirits, uh, this will increase the damage of your pets because of the 6 set bonus and it will also reduce the damage because enemies will get hit by necrosis, so that's great. Piranhas, Piranado, this will bring the mouse together and affected enemies will also take 50% more damage. Zombie dogs, leeching beast or lifelink, it depends on um, how you want to play, if you are dying fast then you want to take a lifelink, if you want to do more damage then you can take leeching beasts. For the next skill we want to use Gargantuan Human Goid, you will now have three of these because of the short man's finger and they are doing a lot of damage. Hex Angry Chicken, uh, because of our Manjuwawa, whatever you can stay in chicken form a little bit longer so you can scout the map a little bit faster and you can find those elites a little bit faster. Spirit Walk, Yount, this will help you out of problems or into problems, it depends on how you use it. For our passives, Zombie Handler, just to increase your life, you can also go for Spirit Vessel or a Confidence a Ritual. Pierce the Veil, all your damage is increased by 20%. Grave Injustice, because our monsters are doing massive damage. You just want to get the cooldown of your skill so you can Pyranado the monsters again and again and again. Midnight Feast, the damage of your zombie dogs and Gargantuan is increased by 50%. For the states on the gears, it is pretty obvious, but for the people who don't know it, listen carefully. For your helmet, intelligence, fatality, critical chance. For your shoulders, intelligence, fatality, Gargantuan damage and area damage. For your necklace, cold damage, critical chance, critical damage. For your gloves, critical chance, critical damage, area damage and attack speed. For your chest, gargantuan damage, intelligence, vitality. For your braces, cold damage, intelligence, critical chance and um, vitality. Vitality. Compass Rose. Oh, we are not using the Compass Rose. It is pretty obvious. Anyway, for both of the rings, you want to use intelligence, critical chance and critical damage. And you just want to have the states as high as possible. Uh, for your pants, all resist, intelligence, fatality, armor. For your weapon, intelligence, attack speed, life paid or area damage. For your boots, intelligence, fatality, all resist and armor. For your mojo, intelligence, vitality, gargantuan damage, critical chance. So I was just recording this video and I was like, fight, fatality. It is probably Vitality, let me know in the comments below if I am right. Uh, anyway, how do you want to play this build? You just want to go in Hex form, then you want to scout the map. If you found the Elite Monster, you want to go out of Hex form. You want to use um, your Pyranado to bring the monsters together, of course. And you want to use Wall of that, um, so your pets will do the most damage. And if you are dying, then you just want to use um, Spirit uh, Walk, so you can get out of problems. Don't stay in a group of monsters, because you are probably gonna die if you do that. But what do I know? So, what do I know, man? Why are you even listening to me? Why are you watching this video? Anyway, if you like this video, then hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also, turn on the notifications next to the subscribe button. And then I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.